Hi, I'm Pavel Spichalski and remember like in the beginning of the 2021 when I reviewed the Color Fab LW PLA, the lightweight PLA filament for 3D printing that basically foams up during the print and thus you print with less material but you have the same volume uh, at the end on your 3D printer. I said back then it would be really awesome if someone made a competing product for the ColorFab LWPLA because when we have a competition then the quality goes up and the price goes down and everything is fantastic. Well, um, I never had to wait very long because look what I have on my, on my workbench today. It's the Isan EPLA LW which basically is almost the same thing but not made by color fab. So we have the competition factor. The general idea behind all of those, well two, because right now I know only about two, the Isan and the color fab lightweight filaments, is that you add a thermoactivated compound that when heated to a certain temperature level starts to foam up and as the result the filament after it exits the nozzle uh, actually you no know, the, the foaming up starts in the nozzle it's just expanded and you can control the level of the expansion with the temperature in general the higher the temperature the more the expansion level however we can safely assume that this and all the other future filaments will allow to something slightly more than two to one expansion level with the maximum foaming up somewhere between 240 to 250. This one. This one. What I like about this one because the eSun provided a very nice table about which temperature causes which uh, expansion level. For example, this one offers the 2 to 1 expansion at the temperature of 250 degrees. So yeah, to have any effect you have to print it hot. But it's even listed over here, you see temperature the impression um, I have no idea which language that is 190 to 270 with the 2 to 1 expansion ratio at 250 so that's the theory and uh, the practice and the practical question is does it work and uh, does it work better or worse than the color fab example so I have printed I decided that uh, I want to have an antenna tracker and while I have an antenna tracker and this filament why not make the everything slightly lighter and to print everything from the lightweight filament from the color fab and it feels uncanny light because yes it's it is a half of the weight of the regular print and after printing it gives you this I don't want to say as nice but yeah okay it's nice satin finish which color fab states you can easily paint with all the colors you want because it uh, the the paint adheres to the um, to the to the 3d printing surface very well overall um, overall yes it looks nice prints in an interesting way however there are some cavetas caveta number one is that the surface is well soft you can easily scratch it even with the uh, with your finger with your fingernail and I'm not sure you will be able to see this on the camera but I just move my fingernail here on the printed surface and there is already a scratch and I barely applied any force. The other thing that you have to be aware of is that if your nozzle is dirty and uh, because of the foaming process it will pick up any burned filament from the nozzle and because of the expansion characteristic it will just be over there yes it can happen also with other filaments but uh, this thing comes only in this creamish color and this is highly visible and but the biggest problem or rather a challenge no it's a limitation it's a limitation you just have to be aware of when using the isan and other foaming up filaments lightweight filaments is that retraction 
does not work. Or to be more precise, yes, you can retract the filament when uh, moving between uh, printing elements, but because of the foaming characteristic of the filament itself, even when the filament is retracted from the nozzle, uh, it will still foam up and it will still ooze. So the stringiness is something that's happening all the time. And this is why some kind of the deburring tool or just a, a knife or something that allows you to remove the string, stringiness, stringed uh, plastic is just required when printing something when the head, the nozzle have to travel uh, without printing. That's that's the price. And the result, like I mentioned, uh, I'm happy how it ended up in this case. Um, seems solid, seems maybe slightly less rigid than the standard filament, but does not feel flimsy, does not really feel too much like a foam, if not this uncanny feeling that it's just too light. Bear in mind, uh, there's already electronics, there's already mechanics in the in the in the thing uh, in the antenna tracker uh, but still if you just hold it in your hand it feels super yeah i think the super light is just the correct word so overall verdict i'm super happy that isan made uh, a competition for the color fab i'm really super happy because now this means that there are at least two filaments of the kind and if i would have to choose which one Hard to say. Um, I would like to see different colors of this because this creamy, creamy color that the Isan states it, it adheres paint super well and you can paint it. I'm, however, not very much into painting. If I would see this in the wide variety of the colors, I would be all in. And um, I think we will be ending over here today. Good job, Isan, for creating a competition for the color fab. I really do hope that the prices of, of the thing will start to go out because if you are into RC hobby, you like to print stuff for your aeroplanes uh, when keeping the weight down is something super important. This is this lightweight filament is there really a way to go? But, but final note, uh, if uh, over here I printed some elements that are well slightly more requiring mechanical and those slightly more requiring from the mechanical like the gears for example I printed with the standard one because this like I mentioned you scratch it with your finger and done but thumbs up thank you very much for watching until the next one bye bye